Hey there, Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Libraries. If you're doing research on the wine industry or the wine market, particularly international markets such as France, Germany, Denmark, Finland, Slovakia, those kind of places, you'll definitely want to check out Passport GMED. This video shows you how to find market research reports for wine markets not only in the U.S. but also in international markets as well. So here you go. So when you get to Passport GMED, the easiest place to look to find information about the wine industry is actually under the Industries tab and you're going to click on alcoholic drinks here. Next under the search tree select a category here you can either choose alcoholic drinks or do wine. We'll do wine here and then we'll click go. So this takes us to a page like like this that gives us the category tree. Now if we wanted to we can also add beer or alcoholic drinks. You can see as we add things like this they appear over here in our category summary there. So we'll just do alcoholic drinks and I'll get rid of beer here and do wine and then we can go down and click now choose geographies here. The GMED once again stands for Global Market Information Database and what this will allow you to do is actually go in and say well if we're interested in looking at wine in different parts of Western Europe we could do say Denmark, Finland, Germany and Italy and as we select those countries you'll see them appear over here under the geographic summary and once you have those selected you can go down and click run search and this will go out and find information for uh, the criteria, the categories we selected and also the countries we selected there so um, you'll see what kinda comes up we have wine in Germany, wine in Finland, wine in Italy alcoholic drinks in Germany we have all kinds of statistics that sort of thing so if you just want the statistics comparing the different countries you can actually click on the statistics here and it would go in and grab all those statistics that are available for this industry and compare them on a country by country uh, basis there so uh, so this gives you the total volume here you can over go over here and click on the other things brand shares distribution uh, pricing exports by country all this kind of different stuff that you can find on the left hand side there back on our search results page if you don't see these reports like this automatically uh, crop up uh, in your search results under an analysis down here if you click on country reports that will just get you those reports that are available for your country so here is wine in Germany alcoholic drinks in Germany that sort of thing and and these reports uh, average between you know 20 and 50 pages depending on the industry and they do give you I'll click on show whole report here do give you uh, headlines in the market trends and lots of text here uh, production, imports, exports, competitive landscape, prospects of the market, and you get all kinds of statistics down here at the bottom. Uh, particularly here we have uh, wines by category, wines by uh, category. We go down and we see uh, there will be brands, inf brand information, and things like that as well. So, so nice way to find information on on our topic uh, that way. Also, you'll see within the uh, analysis section there is a company profile section. And this gives you some of the local company profiles that might be engaged in uh, the wine or alcoholic beverage industry in the local area. So it does give you a good place to look for quick uh, company information for the major players in the, um, in, in the market. Finally, the articles section under the analysis gives you other places to look that aren't necessarily market research reports, but they might mention your country that you're looking at and the, the market that you're looking at as well. So here we have alcoholic drinks in Germany, caught between maturity and a hard, austere place. So you can see different things like that, that that may be relevant when you're talking about your particular market or region. So that's the basics of how you would use Passport GMED to look for information on the global wine market. Hopefully this video helped you understand how to use Passport GMED to find uh, wine information for the international markets. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. We'd be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.